Hello everybody, getting ready to do lesson 3.3 of 6th grade math today, part 1. Part 2 and part 3 are available here at this email. For If you request those, I will get those out to you, as well as other course materials. Today's lesson, 3.3, Comparing and Ordering Rational Numbers, part 1. And today we have a 26-point uh, uh, class worksheet today, and no notes taking today. Teachers, today's bell work is here. Compare and order uh, decimals. Um, and then down here, order these uh, decimals from greatest to least. So what's the relation here between these two uh, decimals and also these? Give your students uh, the number lines here to help. It's not really here to, for them to respond. If they wish to, they may. So 10 points here, students, give you like three, four minutes. Okay, welcome back. Our solutions here for today's bell work is uh, 0.22 is greater than 0 0.022. And then the ordering here from greatest to least would be 0 0.98, 0 0.34, in point two seven students and either you could either put that on your number line or put it in the blank central question how do you compare and order rational numbers is the question of the day equivalent fractions and decimals so we're going to get into writing equivalent fractions and decimals Okay, fractions and decimals that represent the same value are equivalent. So the number line shows equivalent fractions and decimals from 0 to 1 here. So we have 9 over 10, 4 over 5. So for 1 over 10, what would be the decimal for that one? <clears throat> Complete the number line by writing the missing decimals or fractions. Teachers, give your students a few minutes here for them to try and see if they can write equivalent uh, expressions for 0 0.2 and then 1 half and see I don't I'm not sure what that one is <clears throat> I mean it'd be right about there oh there is a tick mark here so between 0 0.7 and 4 over 5 4 over 5 0.7 at least fill those in okay coming back here 0 0.1 for 110 0.5 for 1 half 0.8 for 4 over 5, 1 fifth for 0.2, and then we have 7 over 10 for 0.7. Use the number line to find a fraction that is equivalent to 0.25. So 0.25 would be about right here. What would be the fraction for 0.25 class? Be 1 fourth would be 0.25. And then what about this one here? It looks like uh, looks like three fourths here for 0.75 actually. I guess I just gave it away, and it would be three fourths right here for that. Okay, we got another number line here, and one fourth. Okay, 0.25 and one fourth both represent what? What do they represent? The point halfway between. Uh, point 0.2 and point 0.3 uh, be right there. Explain how to use the number line to find decimal equivalent to 1 and 7 tenths. So 1, how would you find a, um, a number line to find the decimal equivalent to this number here? And we have our number line down here. Uh, these are all the solutions to the above here. So how would you use a number line to find the decimal equivalent to 1 and 7 tenths? <clears throat> it's a mixed number. It's equal to 1 plus 7 over 10. 7 over 10 is equivalent to 0.7. So it would be 1 plus 0.7 or 1.7. So 1 and 7 tenths is equivalent to 1.7, right? Right. Okay, back to our number lines again. Use the number line to complete each statement here. 0.2 equals what? As a fraction. 1 fifth, right? Okay, you got the idea. 
Now, blank equals 3 tenths. So which decimal would equal 3 tenths? 0.3. And then which, uh, oh, I just gave it away. 0.75 equals what fraction? 3 fourths. And then 1.25, what would that be as a mixed number? It would be right here. And that would be 1 and 1 fourth as a mixed number, 1.25. And we have uh, 1 fourth here, but you would add this to 1, so it would be 1.25. Then we have 7, etc. So that is the equivalent fractions and uh, decimals. How does the number line represent equivalent fractions and decimals? I mean, how, how would you respond to that, students, in a written response here? I'll let you do that, respond to that. A decimal and a fraction, and here's the answer. <laughs> that represent the same point on a number line or equivalent, okay. There'd just be different ways of expressing a distance from zero. So uh, there's different ways of expressing uh, absolute values, <clears throat> whether they're negative or positive. So it's just the distance from zero, our decimals are and fractions are uh, absolute values. Name a decimal between 0.4 and 0.5. Students, classroom, students give your teachers some time. And then sample answers, here's some sample answers here for that. Okay, ordering fractions and decimals. You can order fractions and decimals by rewriting the fractions as equivalent decimals or by rewriting the decimals as equivalent fractions. <clears throat> So, in this example here, order these numbers here from least to greatest. Write the fraction, step one, write the fractions as equivalent decimals. <clears throat> so, what's one fourth as a decimal? Okay, so we want to order these numbers here, and we have step one down here write the fractions as equivalent decimal student. So one fourth as a decimal would be what? And then write your responses in there. Use the number line to write decimals in order. So here is a number line here in decimals. So when you convert these into decimals, <clears throat> enter them onto the number line. So one fourth is 0.25, that would be here on your number line. Then one half, what is that as a decimal? It would be 0.5. And then three fourths as a decimal would be 0.75. So now going back up to here, 0.2 is less than 0.25, is less than 0.4. Less than 0.5 is less than 0.75, is less than 0.8. So that would be the ordering there. I and mean, you could use these as kind of like little. Uh, stopping points or division points in your ordering up here on this. Uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, and 0 0.8. 2, 4, and 8. There's no 0 0.6 in here. That'd go right in here. But those would be like uh, little reference points. The numbers from least to greatest are 0 0.2, 1, 4, 0 0.4, 1 half, 3 fourths, and 0 0.8. So that's what you should have had. And you can use write this in here, teachers. You can help out up here. Okay, order one twelve, two thirds, and 0.35 from least to greatest students. So, on your class worksheet, this class worksheet, page seven, write the decimal as a, as an equivalent fraction. So write this as an equivalent fraction. 0.35 be 35 over 100, or in simplest form, 7 over 20. Find the equivalent fractions with 60 as a common denominator. So now we have to write 60 as our denominator here. So 1 12th, how do we turn, convert this into a 60th? We multiply our denominator by 5 to get that to be to the, the 60th, and then Whatever we do to our denominator, we have to do that to our numerator. So that'd be 5 over 60. And then 2 thirds, you could reduce that back to 2 thirds. But we're going to convert this 
No, we're going to convert this. We're not going to reduce this. I'm sorry. So how do we make thirds into 60? We multiply it by 20. So we multiply the numerator by 20. And we get 4 over 6 for that one. 40 over 60 is what it becomes. 40 over 60. And that can be reduced back to 2 thirds just to prove that you did it correctly. Now 7 over 20, what do we do there to make this into 60ths? We multiply numerator and denominator by thirds, by a 3. So that would be 21 over 60 there. Order fractions with common denominators by comparing the numerators. So if these are all uh, to the 60th, a... Uh, if 5 is less than 21, less than 40, so um, these would be the order from least to greatest here because we commonize the denominator, so the numerators now become our indicator of least to greatest, all over 60, equals what? Fractions in order from least to greatest are here, 5, 21, and 40, all over 60. Numbers in order are 1 12th, 0.35, and 2 thirds. So 1 12th, 0.35, and 2 thirds from least to greatest. And that was lesson 3.3, part 1, part 2, and part 3 available here. Thank you very much.